Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell, the Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse today, Wednesday, September 7th, 2022. Now, in less than an hour, there'll be the guilty plea scheduled for Isabella Pollack. She was the right-hand woman of Larry Ray, the famous Sarah Lawrence College sex, sex cultist or sex cult dad, as he was known. We covered his trial. He was convicted. He's postponing his sentencing for a variety of reasons, but Isabella Pollack, who did the bookkeeping and enforced it, was present, uh, according to testimony at the trial, for the torture of Miss Drury, who's uh, John List, uh, is out there. Um, she's going to be pleading guilty. And in fact, in the uh, calendar on PACER, it says plea and sentencing. Never heard of that. Never heard of somebody pleading and being sentenced at the same time. Usually it requires a pre-sentencing report, almost four months. You can expedite it if you have a reason. So we'll see. 10 o'clock. Judge Lyman, be there or be square. In the afternoon, Joshua Shelty, he's been convicted, but he has another trial coming up, and his laptop was seized in the MDC in Brooklyn. He's written a series of, of um, uh, handwritten letters. Some are mocking them. We're going to go. We're going to find out what's happening. I think uh, to mock uh, prison conditions, not a good idea. Uh, we also write about them, not just about Shelty, but there's a man named Powell in the MDC who was left two weeks without a light bulb. So, you know, whatever you may think, I think that once the government has you in custody, they should answer for what they're doing. Let's jump forward a little bit, okay? Honduras, an update. Uh, they did withdraw the motion about Ardon Soriano, and Judge Castell did say inner city press's uh, application to unseal is therefore moot. So we'll never know, at least until the trial of Juan Orlando Hernandez, what those motions may have said, and we may only find out indirectly then. In the one coin case, Armenta is coming to New York to prepare for his sentencing. We'll have more on that. I'm going to turn to the UN in the remaining time. First, Eng Lap Sang. He's, he was the Chinese bribery guy who bribed the UN, spent some time in jail. Now he doesn't want to pay his legal bill to Mr. Mo of Chinatown, right down here. Mr. Mo is suing for it and is saying that they spent $100,000 to get a sovereign immunity uh, uh, opinion. Talk about immunity. Antonio Guterres has thrown the press out and is gallivanting, trying to now pump himself up for GA Week and ban the press. But we will persist. To be continued.